Welcome to Thrifty Garage. Today I'm going to be uh, doing a review on this floor jack I've got behind me. So here I've got a two and a half ton floor jack uh, by Napa. This is a yellow and blue color, which is uh, Napa's colors. Um, it's got this rubber portion on the handle for protecting vehicles. Um, this, I believe, is removable. I think if you undo this bolt, you can remove the whole handle. Or it's also got these uh, two bolts that can be removed. Um, I've transported this in a vehicle. Uh, it's fairly heavy uh, unit, as you can see. Um, this is a pretty good floor jack, uh, does well rolling around on the floor. Uh, the, the casters and the wheels aren't super huge, uh, but they do a pretty good job and are, are still sturdy enough to support the weight. Um, it's got this nice rubber protector on it. As you can see, uh, it's seen quite a bit of abuse over the years. I've probably had this jack about five years. Underneath there we've got the yellow again to match. Um, here's a close up on some of these specs. So. Uh, this two and a half tons kind of smash, but it's a two and a half ton jack. You can pause this if you want to check out that warning. Uh, this is a professional lifting equipment. Uh, this does have grease zerks on it, as well as a, a double piston design. Let's raise this up and take a look at how this uh, goes up. So there's the fully extended height, which is approximately 20 inches. Underneath here we've got the piston. In the time that I've owned this jack, I've never really serviced it. Uh, I've never uh, greased the fittings. Uh, all I've done is dust it off and pull it out of underneath the workbench and use it on whatever projects I need. So why did I buy a Napa? I bought a Napa jack because uh, when I first um, got married, I didn't have a floor jack. I ended up buying a jack from the local pawn shop and it was uh, pretty worthless. Uh, my friend bought a, a Walmart jack and a jack stand combo set and that was pretty worthless. And uh, for a long time I just kind of went without having a jack. Um, surprisingly, I'm not sure how I, I quite made that happen. And, and once I finally got to the point where I decided I needed to purchase one, I decided I didn't want to deal with any of the issues I had had with the ones at the pawn shop and Walmart and, and those type of quality. So I really wanted to make sure I put in the extra money and, and invested it well. Uh, if I remember correctly, I believe this about a, was about $150. Uh, it may have been up to uh, $250 for this, uh, somewhere in that price range. I know you can uh, find uh, Harbor Freight Jacks, which actually have pretty good reviews and they're uh, usually uh, under the $100 range in the same uh, uh, caliber of floor jack, but I just didn't want to deal with any future issues. I just wanted to buy a jack that's going to last a lifetime. And, uh, you know, again, I've never really had to service this. It uh, doesn't mean I shouldn't, but um, I do believe this will last me a long time without uh, having to have any service. Okay, let's go ahead and lower this down. And then we've got a um, low height of about four, four and a half inches as our uh, lowest setting. Um, most of my vehicles are taller uh, lifted, so the low setting usually is never an issue for me, but the height uh, does um, is important to me. What I did purchase to go with my jack from Harbor Freight was these jack stands I've got under the toolbox here. So I've got uh, the large set there and the smaller set there, both from Harbor Freight. Uh, I don't tend to shop at Harbor Freight a lot, but I do feel like these had a really good value to them. Um, and it's hard to go wrong on jack stands. They're sturdy, um, they're good size, and they were well priced. They really fit my needs when it comes to that. So this is the one purchase I did buy from Harbor Freight to go with that uh, floor jack. Well, I think that about wraps up this review. If you have any questions or comments on this jack, uh, leave them in the comments below and, and uh, I'll try and answer any questions that you might have uh, regarding this jack. Again, I've had this uh, about five years. I uh, used it for a number of different situations and it's never let me down. Really happy with it. 
been a good purchase. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage.